Hi hey. guys! <laughs> it's cold out here. Like the spark before the flame Or the calm before the storm It's a needle to the pain and I'll always be wanting We're in like northern Michigan area on a lake somewhere. I don't even know what town we're in. But um, this last week has been very, very eventful. It started off in Texas about an hour southwest of Houston at um, University of Houston, Victoria. And it was warm. Hot. <laughs> Different people, fresh your faces, but their words always sound the same. So hard. Really sorry. So, this is like the student housing and like dorm rooms and stuff, and it used to be like a motel. And it's been converted, and it's like really, really cool. I think this was all like a courtyard, and now it's all like enclosed and stuff. So. On our way up, we went to Michigan and got to see a bunch of my friends from when I was still living in Missouri, like some of my best friends, the McKnights. They're from like a really big family. We got to take showers. That was really nice. And we had to leave Molly there because she doesn't have a passport. <laughs> and while we were at the McKnights, did I say that right? Yeah. <laughs> yes. We uh, got to take showers, which was awesome because with four people living in an RV, um, the water goes by pretty quick. You have to conserve so, a lot. <laughs> so it was nice to take a long shower. We played at Lake Superior State University, which is in the Upper Peninsula of Michigan, in Sault Ste. Marie on the Michigan side, which is literally like right on the border of Canada. I mean, we were like looking at the Canadian USA bridge from where we were playing, which was pretty cool. We got to play Shays, which is... It's this uh, game you play with a pool table, white ball and the black ball and uh, well you're going to see a little bit of what that looks like is there pleasure in this pain different people fresh your faces but their words always sound the same knock so hard upon the door but I snowman burning um, for like the first day of spring celebration they like made a big fake snowman and like burnt it to the ground so that was awesome. <laughs> Waiting on a hurricane to come in.
So then when we went to Canada, we got to go to our favorite coffee place, which is Tim Hortons. And of course, if you're Canadian or know anything about Canada, you know what Tim Hortons is. I, I like their Timbits. <laughs> I like their coffees. Um, they have French vanillas, but it tastes like candy. So I used to drink those all the time. I can't drink that anymore. Too old for that stuff. When we got into Canada, after Tim Hortons, we got to play at my friend Wes's house, and uh, we kind of, not grew up together, but we were friends like seven years ago or eight years ago. We worked at a church together in Whippy, Ontario, and so we got we've to- We've been in bar fights together, we've almost been got run over by trains together. <laughs> we sprayed a kid with a fire extinguisher, <laughs> and now he's the lead pastor at Sault Ste. Marie Free Methodist Church, and so, we got to go play at his house. We did a house show there in front of his friends and all that kind of stuff. It was awesome. And it looked like this. For the calm before the storm It's a needle to the pain And I'll always be wanting more I close my eyes at night But I wake up and know this situation or the dude <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah that's a that was, that was a big commitment but they had to yeah they ended up being really close friends with us been around the country twice in the desert hills in the snowy pines arkansas took me by surprise let me tell you that i tried And then after that, we led worship at his church um, in the morning, and that was really awesome. That was actually this morning, and we got to meet all of his church family, and it was super nice. What's the sense of becoming the same? Not the car. We are now, and now we are now, <laughs> now picking up our friend slash pet Molly. It sounds really mean, but it's an That's inside joke. She gave herself that nickname. She gave herself that nickname. So we're gonna go pick her up at the McKnight's house, which is in like an hour, if that. And that's it. We're heading back to Florida, and it's gonna take us like four days because we're taking our time. We're gonna experience things, and that will be on the next vlog. Thanks, Brooke, for taking this video. It's cold. Bye, everybody. Thanks for watching. We will see you next time. Shame. You went like this. Bye, everybody. <laughs> we'll see you next time. To come.